In this video, I will show you how to generate PDF files with make.com. We will set up an automation that uses data entered into a form to generate an offer in PDF format. It works in such a way that after you fill out the form with data, the automation inputs this data into a specified place in a document, generates a PDF from that document and uploads the PDF to Google Drive. For generating the PDF files, we will use Google Docs, so no additional paid apps will be needed. We will just use Google Workspace apps and make.com. If you don't have a make.com account yet, you can use the link in the description of this video to create a free make.com account. We would greatly appreciate it if you used this link as it can provide us with a commission if you later decide to upgrade to a paid plan at no additional cost to you. Okay, let's start setting up our automation. For the purpose of this example automation, we will use Google Forms as the source of our data for the automation. Basically, it is a form in which you enter data like client's company, types of service, and price to generate an offer in PDF. Using a Google Form just serves as an example. In your case, you can use your CRM system as the data source or something else. Now move to make.com and create a new scenario and here you can see I am inside this scenario and now to get the response from this Google form I need to create a Google form module. Click on plus icon and type Google form. Select the Google forms. We will use this Google form to watch responses from our forms and this will trigger when a new response is received. So select this. In here, provide your Google Forms account address to establish connection and then you need to enter the form ID. To get the form ID, move to the Google Form and from the URL, you can select this. This is the ID for your form. So copy this and bring it here and paste it. Then just click on search. Here you need to put the document title. You can just go there and copy the title of the document and bring it here and paste it. Then click on OK. So now the connection is established with your Google Forms. So click on OK. In the description of this video, you can find a link to our free Automations Essentials Kit, which contains a list of tools for building automations and a list of educational resources from which you can learn more about automations. So you can grab your free copy today. Just go to the link in the description of this video. Now let's input some example information in this Google form. Let's say this client company is company test one and then choose the types of service as social media marketing and then price here I can input 500 and then click on submit. Now move to make and then run the scenario once. And here you can see one bundle popped up. Just click on this. You can see inside the bundle one, we have received some information. Get inside the answers. And here you can see the answer. Types of service is social media marketing. And then price, if I get inside the price, then here the price is 500. And that means our Google Forms module is getting response. Now we need to pass this information into a template. Inside my Google Drive, I have created an offer template. If I click on this, here you can see this is the offer template. And here you can see inside the curly brackets, the service name and the company is placed as a variable. Variables allow you to insert dynamic content that can update automatically in your document. To create a variable, you can just keep it inside these curly braces. So in our case, we are using this company service name and price as the variables that we are getting from this form, that is the client's company, types of service, and the price. We'll be taking the values from here and then we'll use it as a dynamic content in our offer template. To create a document from the template, move to make.com and add another module that is Google Docs. Type Google Docs. Enter, select it, and from here we'll select this option, that is create a document from a template. It creates a copy of an existing template document and replaces any tags. That means it will replace the variables. And this module also allows users to replace images by new images with URLs. So select this, now locate the document ID, 
that means the offer template this is the offer template now next you will have the option to map the values that you need to change so insert the service name the service name would be types of service text answers answers value then company get inside the clients company get inside the text answers answers and value and then the last thing is price so get inside the price text answers answers and get the value the value is 500 here next in here we can input the title that means the title of the document so i can write here offer for the company and in here i can map the company name i can take the value this is okay then in which location you want to store the document i'll be storing it in my drive and i want to store this inside this documents folder then just click on ok this is the folder that means the documents folder where i want to store the document now it is empty so move to make.com and then run the scenario once now you can see one bundle is popped up and if i get inside the documents folder then here you can see this offer for company test one that means our offer is created and if i get inside this offer and here you can see the variables are replaced with this company test one and social media marketing service and then the price of 500 usd so things are working but this offer is now in a google doc format but we can convert it to pdf and download it and for that we need to move to make.com and add another module that is google docs module and now we'll be using the download add document option select this download add document option here you need to select the document id and for that i can use mapping and if you click on that we can choose this document id and then you have the option to choose the format that means in which format you want to download the file i want it as pdf and then click on ok now our docs file will be downloaded as a pdf file after that we can add another module uh, we don't want to keep our docs file that was stored here inside this document section so we can delete it and for that we are calling the google docs module again and we are calling this delete a document option and now you can select the document id click on ok now our google docs file that means our this offer for company test one file will be deleted but our downloaded pdf file will be remained so move back here and now we want to store our pdf file inside google drive so for that we need to call the google drive module type google drive and and from these options i'll select upload a file option If someone has a Google Drive associated with at gmail.com email address and has problem with connecting his Google Drive with make.com, there is a link to a tutorial on how to do this in the description of this video. So you can follow that if you face any problem. Then here you need to enter the folder ID and you can select it from the list. Get inside this generate PDF file and I'll be storing this thing inside this PDF files folder. I'm getting the file from Google Docs download at document module and then click on OK and now your automation is ready now to align this thing just click on auto align option and you can see the full feature save it now move to the Google form offer page write something like clients company as test and then types of service is video production and price in USD I can write it as 150 and submit now come back to make.com run the scenario once and here you can see inside my pdf files folder i have this pdf file that is called offer for test.pdf so if i get inside this file now the things have changed video production service offer for test since we inserted the service as video production in our google form and the company value was test and here you can see the price is 150 usd so the PDF is created with all the variables that we have inserted in the Google Forms. So that is how you can generate a PDF file by using the make automations. By the way, here we have the option to save our scenario. There is also an option to activate the scenario so it will run automatically. And when you click on schedule settings, you can choose exactly when it will run. 
If you'd like to learn more about automations, you can find a link to our free Automations Essentials Kit in the description of this video. It contains a list of tools you can use to build automations and a list of educational resources from which you can learn more about automations. So you can grab your free copy today. Just go to the link in the description of this video.